I already used the first version, the Weeble Lab, for a bit less than a year, so I was even more excited when the Weeble S came out, because it has some great improvements, and in this video I want to share the results with you and give you my thoughts about this gimbal. The first big improvement of the Weeble S is the motor strength and also the position of the motors. They move the motor a little bit back so that you can fit heavier setups on the gimbal. Before in the Weeble Lab I wasn't able to fit my Panasonic GH5 together with a Sigma 18-35 to lens on it, but now on the Weeble S it's actually possible. However, when I'm in underslung mode in some angles I get some jittery motors there, so it seems to be the very limit of this gimbal, but it's still great that I can use it and even in underslung mode depending on how I hold it in my hand it still works so it's great that Gion gave us this improvement. What's also great about the motors on the Weeble S is that they automatically adjust their strengths by itself. I actually had the problem with the Weeble Lab once when I shot a hyperlapse of Angkor Wat in Cambodia that I had set my motor strengths wrong and then the gimbal automatically shifted to the left all the time so I had to readjust for that and that caused a lot of shakes so I had to stabilize a lot in post. But now with the Weeble S you don't have that problem anymore. You just do auto calibration and it just works. The next big improvement, or let's call it new feature, is the image transmission module. You simply attach it to the Weeble S and then it transmits the image from your camera directly to your phone or an external monitor. So it's great for professionals that have a team of gimbal shooters and want to see what everyone's doing and they also want to make some adjustments. But it's also great, let's say, if you sit in a car and the gimbal is attached outside of the car and you want to control everything. And with everything, I really mean everything. It can even transmit the movement of your phone to the gimbal, which is absolutely incredible and apart from that it also comes with a new feature which is called smart follow and that basically enhances the object tracking from the Weeble lab and we will see now how that goes. So now I'm testing the smart follow function by walking around the gimbal while it tracks me and I would say it's already a lot better than it was on the Weeble lab but it's still a little bit bumpy if I don't walk at a constant speed so I think the giant could still improve that a little bit more and I also shot a hyperlapse on it so it was around the same there it was also a bit bumpy but on hyperlapses I can easily stabilize it a bit more in post and you don't see that so it's actually good for hyperlapses to use the tracking functionality but for shots like that here you really have to be a bit careful how you move otherwise it probably wouldn't look that nice. Apart from that, the Weeble S is pretty much the same as the Weeble Lab and that's actually good because the Weeble Lab already had everything that we need. It was just that the motors were not strong enough in my opinion. So thanks Shine here, it's a great update. What I actually love about both of these gimbals is the design. It has this nice L shape here, what makes it possible that everything is a bit smaller because the batteries fit inside here. And as you can see right now, you can attach the tripod not just to the bottom of the gimbal but also to the top. So you can easily go into underslung mode which is really nice. So overall from all gimbals on the market right now the Weeble S is in my opinion the best gimbal simply because of the design and the motor strengths. So it is small lightweight and it gives you a lot of flexibility. Hope you like this review and if yes then please leave me a thumbs up and also if you want to see more reviews like that in the future and if you want to learn more about general travel filmmaking then don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notifications button. See you next Sunday.